Hey everybody, welcome to my usual me and welcome back to the Long Dark Interloper. Where is day 180? Is it 180? It's 180. All right, guys. Yeah, I'm excited. All right, so day 180, guys, and we have, I cooked up all that deer. It's sitting outside right there and I boiled up. I think I have like four gallons of water here. I think it's four gallons of water. I don't have any on me right now. I do. Oh, it's just tea. Yeah, let's grab, uh, we're going to grab like a half a gallon of water or something, maybe three quarters of a gallon of water. Drink our fill right quick because I slept for nine, nine, nine hours. And I'm, oh, you know what I'm going to do? Let me pick up my bedroll. Go ahead and pick that up. And let's go ahead and pick up these black bear hide, this black bear hide, all this gut and the cloth. And then we'll see what we have in the way of leeway for how much food I want to take with me. See what we got going on. I am at 80 out of 88 pounds. So eight pounds of food. I don't know if I want to take eight pounds of food, man. I mean, I, don't, I mean, I don't know if I want to leave the rest of the food is what I meant to say. Um, I mean, I might want to take more than eight pounds of food. We have to eat breakfast, so let's eat breakfast right quick. Um, yeah, I'll just eat that. I mean, it's not going to fill me up. That was one of the small pieces. Uh, we'll go like that. There we go. I think we're going to just take it all. We only have a couple of seconds from the time I leave this. Yeah, I'm going to have two smell bars. I'm going to smell like a... A dirty thief. Uh, yeah. Well, we need this. We need this meat, guys. We need it. I think I have. Oh, you know, what? I'm gonna take this guy too. Birch bark. I don't. Actually, you know what? No, I'll just take it. It's a habit now. Every time I come through here, there's a couple of birch barks. I passed up a whole bunch. I know I did. Um, yesterday. There's. It's all through here. So, and it makes for great tea and all, but for getting my condition back. But my condition's always been good. I mean, not always, but it mean for the most part. There were a couple times it got hairy this season. There were a couple times, but uh, not bad. It wasn't bad. So, you know, the birch bark helps a little bit. But I just, uh, you know, I just, I, I just don't need it right now. I've got a whole bunch, so. Is that, another, is that another deer? Is there really two deer here? Wow. I thought there was only one deer that spawned in here at a time. That's so cool. Well, no, nice, man. Oh, that we, that's extra food if we need it. I'm not going to argue. All right, so we're gonna, we only have a little bit of time here. I only have so much stamina. So hopefully there's not a wolf here. If there's a wolf here, then we're going to have to start a fire, but it's kind of windy. So I don't know if that's going to fly. I don't know if I can even start a fire right now. Let's see. Can I? No. I'll have to use a match. If we have to so yeah that's kind of a bummer but whatever it's fine my dude's slowing down quite a bit what's going on all right so we're gonna leave the ravine cross your fingers i'm not gonna pull the uh the bow out because when, when you try to put a make a fire and the bow's out it seems to always glitch up on me so we're gonna leave it without the bow and then i'll make a fire if i have to let's just kind of hurry here Oh, are we okay? I think we're going to be all right. Maybe. Oh, give me a, get in there. Nice. Need to find some place to escape this cold. Yeah, I'm going to. It's right here. The dam. So most of the wood on the inside of the dam has been, um, has been like scavenged. But I've got all this wood out here. I can still take if I need to later on down the road. Um, I don't know that I'll ever have to, but not at this point. At this point, I might be okay. Like, I'm going to be able to stay out for longer periods of time. If this bedroll works the way I think it does, I think I might be able to just, you know, whenever I get down, my temperature gets down low, I can go and, and hide in the bedroll for like a few minutes, get warmed up, keep on keeping on. I don't know if, that, if, if wolves will attack you while you're in the bedroll, though. Yeah, I have water here. Okay, so let's go ahead and put, speaking of bedrolls, let's put down this bedroll right here because this is where we're going to be sleeping. Hey, look at there. There's my birch sapling. That's for my, my arrow shafts, guys. All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's put this bedroll down here so I'm not laying on the wires. Grab this guy. Uh, what do I have in here? Oh, I've got two maple saplings. Okay. All right. Let's put that in there, too. I'm not going to make my, my arrows right now. Our main focus right now is that bedroll. Because you guys, hands down, like almost 100% said bedroll. So that's what we're doing. You know what I'm going to do? I'm also going to put these arrowheads in here too. Oh, I can't hold that much weight. All right, fine. Screw it. I'm just keeping it on me. All right, so. 
Go ahead and go with the bearskin bedroll. I want to make sure I have plenty of water. And we're just going to hang on to the, the food. I'm like, I don't care. Doesn't matter. Where is it? Anyway, it doesn't matter. All right, let's just do this. So it's going to take 22.75 hours. All right, well. All right, let's just do it. I'm going to spend like all, all of it I mean, as much as time as I can. 10 hours, why not? Until it gets dark, and then I'll just sleep in the bedroll. We'll get up, eat, drink, do it again. All right, so it's only going to let me do it during the, the day. So 82% on my knife. 12 more hours left. Let's go ahead and let's... um. I don't really need to sharpen the knife right now, but we're gonna. I've got 31% on this whetstone. I just want to bring it back up. We're gonna want to get rid of this whetstone is what I want to do. Oh, wait. Hang on. Drink some water. May as well eat a steak, too. I don't know why I ate, but why I drank before I ate. You always want to eat before you drink, because... You get dehydrated whenever you whenever you eat, so. Anyway, you can sharpen a, a, a tool while it's dark, so. Can't do anything else while it's while it's dark, but you can do that. Well, 97's good. 97's good. Alright, we're good. Alright, so that's fine. And the bed is metal table. Workbench. No light. Workbench. Open drawer. Uh, so I need to go. Metal table. There's my bedroll. There it is. Okay, whoa. Took me a minute. And there we go. Nine hours. Okay. And as soon as we're done with this bedroll, guys, we're heading to uh, the other side of the muskag. We're going to go and we're going to hit that. Um, I promised you, or a couple of you guys, we we're going to go to the to the hunting lodge, and which is also where the the other forge is. So it's going to be cool. It'll be good. All right. So, and it's almost light. Let's go ahead and see if maybe light enough. I can do some work here. If I can find that. If I can find it again. I don't know where it's at. I can't see anything. We'll have to wait. Oh, no, back. We have to wait for an hour. I got to be able to see what I'm doing. There we go. I was looking at the damn ceiling. Whoops. Was that really? Oh, I was. Okay, that's fine. All right, so let's go ahead and have some food. Some water. All right. Bedroll again. 12 hours and 83 minutes. Oh, 12.83 hours. 13 hours. Whoops. I don't know what I was doing here. Uh, just do it all. Can I do it all? I don't know if I can. Let's see. No, we won't get it all done today. It'll be almost done. It takes almost three days. Oh, I'm so close. <laughs> Wait. Oh, we did it. We did it! We made the bearskin bedroll in two days, ladies and gentlemen. That's so cool. 6.6 .6 pounds. Heavy but very warm. The smell might scare animals away. We are done with the bedroll. Wow, that was really quick. All right, cool. Let me see it. Let me see it. Where is it? Here it is, guys. My gosh. So it is supposed to be, I think it's like 12 degrees. Is it 12 degrees? I don't know. We'll have to check it out in the morning. This will be the last night. That we sleep in this other bedroll. There it is. There's the other bedroll right there. All right, let's go ahead and uh, drink some water. Actually, no, let's eat some food like we know we got to do first. <laughs> and then uh, I'm just going to eat my fill because I deserve it. I'm not losing my bonus. I, I, have, I have too many things that weigh too much. We're, gonna, we're burning through way more calories than we really need to in Interloper, but you know what? It's because we can. There's too much food out here. 
don't don't listen to me developers i don't mean that you should like not give us more you should give us less food um all right so let's see let's go here and then um okay we're gonna sleep for nine more hours this will be the last day that we use this bedroll, maybe. I'll have it as a backup, just in case something goes wrong. But I don't think anything's going to go wrong. Maybe. Still not light. I'm just not tired is all, huh? I'm almost out of water, though. So I guess we're going to chill out here for a minute. Actually, you know what we're going to do, guys? I'm going to pick up this bedroll. We're going to go ahead and grab this lantern right quick. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't fill up my lantern the last time we went fishing. Let's go grab, let's get the lantern filled up. And then for the rest of the night, we're going to spend the night out in the bedroll. How about that? Let's see what that does. Uh, let's go ahead and just use this. So I can see where I'm going. I just hope the uh, aurora didn't happen. Oh, there we go. Hey, there's my other storm lantern. <laughs> I had to break one of these, break it down, actually. I had to break it down so I can go ahead and get the fuel out of it. We're going to do that in the morning. We're going to just see what what happens when we when we sleep the rest of the night. Oh, I need more water. Let me grab some more water real quick. All right, so let's see what happens. We don't have to worry about wolves right now. So, and I don't know if you have to worry about wolves anyway. So let's go ahead and uh, let's put this away. We're three, three uh, things down. What do you call it? All right, so we're going to put this down right here. Boom, there's the bare skin bedroll. And it says it feels like seven degrees. So it's really cold. So let's just sleep for an hour and see what happens. You're not tired enough. I guess we'll wait for an hour. Oh, yeah, guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. This bearskin bedroll didn't do jack, jack squat. Pick it up. Didn't do jack squat. And there's a wolf um, that's growling at me. Right here at the outside. What the hell, dude? So, yeah, so you can't sleep outside with this thing. You can't sleep outside with this bedroll. Can't feel my feet. Not in the. I'm gonna need another. I'm gonna need a bear, another uh, another jacket. Is what I'm gonna need. I gotta find a place to put this thing down. So no, you cannot an interloper sleep with the bedroll. Unless I've done something wrong, I may have. Maybe you guys can educate me in all of your your grand wisdom in the uh, in the comment section. That might be cool. Uh, I miss on me being uh, snar snarky. I'm just. I'm just. I'm frustrated that I, that it didn't work. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sleep with this bedroll. Okay, let's put this out. That's off the wall, man. The failures of a bedroll. I'm gonna do eight hours. I don't need eight hours. It's almost. Oh, it's. I mean, I'm not even tired enough. Pass time, and then sleep for another hour. Yeah, so it doesn't. Uh, it didn't keep the uh, the wolves away, and it didn't keep me warm. So I don't know what to tell you guys. Uh, pick this up, and we'll just chill out for an hour. I was hoping it would work, but I guess it's not gonna. I mean, I, it will keep me warm in probably any. In probably any um, cave, it's probably. It, I mean, it's, I'm probably not gonna see what we got going on here. So it's actually, um, it's plus 21 degrees Fahrenheit bed warmth. So that's really good. Versus the other one, which is plus five. So yeah, it's way warmer. It is, but it's not warm enough to get me through a, a snowstorm. So yeah, no, it's not. Um, I was I was under the impression that it would, but it doesn't. We're still going to sleep in it. Uh, let's see, what else do we want to do here? I'm going to grab that because I, I need it. And I think we're going to make some arrows today. 
Yeah, boy. I have the the um, the tools on me. Let's grab this guy right quick. Get to make some more arrows for my arsenal. Arrow shafts. Three. Do it, man. Um, 39 minutes apiece. Wait, oh, that, no, the arrow shafts. It didn't matter with the arrow shafts. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead. I'm going to use my hatchet. But nah, we'll use our knife. It's fine. All right. Now, I should have enough to make... How am I doing in water or food? Okay, I'm good. Uh, I should have enough to make three arrows, right? Two? Only two? Really? All right. Well... Maybe I need another feather. Hmm. I do need another feather. Just one, though. Hmm. Let's see here. Where can I go? What's my weight looking like? 83 out of 88 pounds? Hang on. We got a lot of heavy stuff on us, though. Go ahead and uh, let's drop that. And put that where it belongs, which is right here. As always. And what else can I get rid of? That I don't need. Boom. Uh, five pounds of arrowheads. I don't need those. We're going to go ahead and put those arrowheads in here. I think. I'll take some of them with me. I'm not taking them all with me. But we know that they're here at the dam. So it's fine. And I've got one arrow shaft, which I'm going to hang out with. Let's grab one more arrow head. Just because I'm going to come back and make it right, right away. Does this sewing primer do me any good? I don't know if it does. Um, we have 10 arrows right now. Man, I'd like a baker do baker's dozen. That wouldn't be that wouldn't be bad. We're going to drop this food. I'm going to eat breakfast and we're going to drop this food. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's just drop this right here. Drop that. That one. Is that the only one I have left? Whoa, no. No, 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 no. Just go with food, dude. Drop. And drop. I'm almost out of water, though. I mean, nah, kind of. Not really. All right, I want to go I want to go to, um, to the back side here. Now we're at 70 out of 88. That's not bad. I'm going to check these corpses out back and see if there's any uh, any feathers that I can grab. There's bound to be some. There's one deer one and one person back there, I think. Plus, we've got a couple corpses back in that cave back there. I don't know that it really matters much. I mean, I should be able to find one feather somewhere. All right. Let's see what we can do. I mean, the birds should be out. I hear them. Oh, look at this ruined wolf meat I've got. Oh, wow, man. That's cool. Forgot all about that. It's going to sit there forever, too. All right. Well, I shouldn't smell. Dude, we got a wolf over here. I'm sure we do. Like, I'm positive we do. Yeah, I see him right there through the crack. Look at that. Yeah, he's right there. I'm stuck. Am I stuck? Oh. Oh, man, that would have been bummed me out, dude. I have to start this video over again. Or not over again, but, like, to wherever the last uh, save point was. All right. We should have a feather right here, maybe. Maybe. All right, come on. Really, dude? There it is. I would love to see a feather somewhere here. Why you guys no feather me? God dang it, man.
Oh, shoot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go, 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 go. Got him stuck. Oh, man, I really want to kill that wolf now. I hit him. Thought I hit him. Oh, I did hit him. Missed him. He's not bleeding, though. He's not bleeding, though. There he goes. He's dead. All right, cool. He wasn't bleeding. So where is the... There it is. Did I break the arrow? I broke the arrow. Well, so much for me needing to... Um... I think I'll go back to the cave and warm up there. That way I don't have to go all the way to the dam. We're going to go all the way back to the cave here, guys. We're going to warm up. And then I'm going to... Come back and skin that wolf. That's what I'm going to do. It's just faster that way. I don't have, I have to go all the way through the dam just so I can warm up so I can drop all the way back down. It just, it just, it'll be faster if I just do it this way. Yeah, well, here's here's our t first uh, test of the bedroll back in this cave here. And there's only one wolf here at any one time, so I'm not worried about another wolf uh, spawning or anything like that. All right, we're not going to build a fire. Hey, look, it's another can of peaches. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Am I hungry? Not enough. We'll wait. Millions of peaches, peaches for free. But it feels like 65 degrees in here, so yeah, this is good. We'll, we'll just we'll sleep for an hour. Actually, we'll just hang out for an hour. There we go. It's almost like being inside. That's cool. That was awesome. Like I probably could have put the pl plant in the bedroll right next to the wolf and gotten warmed up. Is what I probably could have done. Like if I lay it down right now. It feels like, oh, seven, no, I can't. 17 degrees. Yeah, I know. Doesn't work that way. But in any cave, I, should, I shouldn't have to build a fire. So I'm okay with that. Do I want that rabbit? I don't want that rabbit. We're gonna have, we have wolf meat. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to grab... Um, hey, what's up with you, rabbit? <laughs> take me home with you. I don't want to take you home with me. You're free. Go on, Peter Cottontail. Um, anyway, maybe... Nope, there's not another batch of birds. I was hoping that maybe I might have gotten some feathers off this guy. If I left him overnight, he might. But I don't know. Him being a wolf, maybe not. Oh, wait. No. No, I don't think there's going to be any feathers. I'm kind of surprised that wolf didn't attack me, considering there's no, there was no, um, what do you call it? I'm just going to, I'm just going to, we're just going to do the, the, the old fashioned way. An hour and four minutes. Yeah, that's fine. Not that cold. Nice. That was good. Hypothermia risk. Ooh. All right. Super nice. Got ourselves a rabbit. Got ourselves a wolf. Got ourselves a bedroll. And we figured out that uh, the bedroll's not all that in a bag of chips. Which is fine. I mean, it's, like I said, four times as good as the bedroll you have. Which is great. It's also the warmest spot, the warmest bed, bedding in the game. Like, above beds and everything else. Of course, then again, to be fair, when you're indoors, it's already warmer than it would be if you're if you're in a cave or something. So, 
Still, though, I'm pretty happy with it, man. We will be getting a bear jacket, by the way. We will be doubling up on our bear coats. And then I bet you, with with uh, with uh, with bear coats and a bear bear bedroll, I can sleep outside. I'd almost guarantee you. Like there has to be a there has to be a world in which I, there's some product where you can make in this game where you can survive interloper outside. Has to be. I am 100% convinced that that is the case. I might be 100% wrong too. <laughs> It's all right, though. All right, let's get back inside with two wolves worth of meat, almost, and a rabbit. And then I might have to. We got. We have a wolf hide already in this dam. I might have to fix my gear. In fact, I'm gonna fix my gear. Get it 100%. Because like I shouldn't be as cold as I am right now. I have almost all the best gear in the game. The only thing I'm lacking is one more wolf coat, or maybe a moose hide um, cloak. And, um, you know, for those of you who are talking about uh, the waterproofing of the, of, the, of the moose cloak, I get it. I do. Unfortunately, I've, in this playthrough, I've never frozen. I've never gotten completely soaked. So I've never had that problem. I've always been warm enough and dry enough that, it, that, that the whole wetness thing has not, not been an issue. You know what I mean? Where, you, where your clothes get wet? It hadn't been. So I don't need a vote for that one. I'm, I'm, I, I really just ask you guys to vote because I'm, you know, I want you to get, you know, to get in on this, you know, in the decision making process and stuff. If it would have been me, we'd have gotten two, two bear jackets, but you all said bedroll. So it's what we did. So yeah, you get a vote for most things, for a lot of things, the important stuff. Turn left. No, I want to turn right. No, turn right. No, don't want to turn left. <laughs> all right. So, man, I mean, I'm not, I am, I am not unhappy with this playthrough at all. This is the longest I've ever lived in this game. And now that I'm at a point where I understand some things I didn't understand before, uh, it's much better. Like, I could probably survive a wolf attack, but I don't, I don't know that anybody could survive two or three in a row. All right, let's get up here. Let's get this stuff out front where I can have access to it in the future. Because I don't really need the meat, right? I've got all that deer meat already done. Plus all the bear meat at the other spot. I should probably build a fire and boil some water, though. Let's do that. Let's grab some sticks over here. Let's boil some water for this spot. Because I don't have enough uh, backup water for the... I don't, have, I don't have any wood here. Okay, that's fine. We got wood outside. Not too awful worried about it. I mean, the, the the cave is around the corner. I've got four gallons of water right there. So maybe I won't boil the water. So what we're going to do next, guys, is I'm going to go ahead and we're going to, I'm going to drop off this meat. And we're going to go ahead and I'm going to slip over to grab some water. I'm going to strip myself down to the bare essentials. I think. Oh, you know what I do? Hang on. No, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. I have to... Hang on. Take that broken arrow and harvest it. Now, this lack of feathers thing doesn't matter anymore because of the two that I had left and the two that I got from that. You know what? I think I only have one shaft left, don't I? So I, can't, I can only make one more. That's fine. We'll just make the one more. Shut up. <laughs> Only got 45 minutes to, to craft this arrow. You can do without water until then. All right. We have one crow feather, so that's great. Oh, no. Not water. Keep wanting to drink that, that painkiller, man. All right. Point one one. Yeah, no. I think we're going to sleep in the cave. I think we're going to sleep in the cave, but I think we're going to do that um, off camera. I don't think I'm going to go do it on camera. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to I'm going to give this guy something to eat. It's nearly it's not dark, but it's close to dark. And I'm going to go ahead and we're slip in here right quick so I can so I can save the game. And yeah, guys. All right. So, hey, bedroll done. Wolf killed. Got a free rabbit out of the deal. I need to skin this rabbit so we have some extra food. 
and uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and head on out um, uh, to the dam. And then next time, we're going to head over to the Muskeg and go past the Muskeg. We're going to follow the, tr- the railway. We're going to ride the rails. And we're going to head over to the other side, which is where the where the um, the machine shop and the hunting lodge is. And that's where we're I've never I haven't been there this playthrough, so we're going to go. And then after that, there's only two other places that we haven't been to. And that one is the the um, inlet, Bleak Inlet, and also... We haven't been to the, <clears throat> excuse me, we also haven't been to the uh, Timberwolf Mountain. So, I'm not really scared of Timberwolf Mountain at all. It's, uh, it's, I mean, it's got a cabin up there, you know. A lot of times I spawn up at Timberwolf and walk my way down. So, it's, um, it's fine. It's, you know, it's a thing. I mean, we have Timberwolves now, so that makes it kind of dangerous. But, you know, beyond that, you know, I don't really know why people want me to go to Timberwolf, but we're going to go. So stay tuned because it's going to happen, and I still have only I'm only halfway through my playthrough because we still have a we have like we're going for a year and we're only like like um well we're almost halfway there, 182 365 days in a year, I got a long way to go guys and I have a feeling you might get bored, so tell me if there's something cool you want me to do that I haven't done besides those things and I will. Uh, add them to the list because I need things to do in different episodes. So please, by all means, you know, Timberwolf Mountain, the Hunting Lodge, Bleak Inlet, uh, the Bleak Inlet up- Upper Side, and another wolf, another bear jacket. Beyond that, I don't know what else there is to do in this game that I haven't done. So tell me in the comment section what you think. I will listen and um, yeah, be kind to each other because uh, and everybody's going through a rough time right now and everybody's on edge. So please. Y'all be good to each other. Anyway, I you love y'all. And hey, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. As I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. Woo!